Uh, now here's Sherman Oaks with a word of special interest. Well, uh, the only word of special interest we have right now is a commercial from one of our favorite sponsors, the uh, state of Kansas. We hope to have a few guests up here. Let me just say a few words about Kansas. Uh, money's a little tight this year, so if you're... If you've got a band trip, uh, maybe to the Rose Bowl, a senior trip, 4-H club going to Washington, D.C., well, this year, why not save that money and visit the state of Kansas? Uh, remember, always bring correct change. Kansas, of course, there's a little knocking. Sure. Yes. Uh, Teddy Jack, Eddie here. Hello. I don't mean to interrupt you here. I know you're talking, giving that Kansas commercial, but uh, there's a man up here that, uh, oh, just a minute. There's a man up here that, uh, that that only gets up to Tulsa once a month. Just a minute. And that's my uncle out there. He's knocking on the door. He's trying to get in here and wants to meet you. He listens to your right. show all the time. His name is Byron Beavis. And he's from Collinsville. And he creates those telephone posts. Let me let this him in. This is your Uncle Byron? I yeah, he heard wants to you talk you. about him. Okay. I'd love to meet oh, him. Oh, oh, oh. Um, Come on in here. Sit down. Byron, just sit down. We're doing a little commercial here for the uh, state of Kansas. I don't know if you've ever visited Kansas. Let me tell you just a little bit about it, and uh, then then we'll talk to you, Byron. Uh, <laughs> he's really excited, isn't he? i tell he? you what. He's dying to meet you. Byron, this is Sherman Oaks. Say hello to Sherman Oaks. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Oaks. How you? How do you? How are you? Well, just fine, Byron. It's good to see hey, you. Ask him, I ask him what he does I for a living. I listen to you and I listen to you and uh, myself on uh, on radio. <laughs> show who you got? Well, listen. It's we need all the listeners we get, and we're glad to have a loyal I, I, listener. I, I, I like that. I like to listen to it because uh, I think sometimes it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, good. We try to be sometimes. You want to I talk think. to him about that? Uh, about that job he had over in Collinsville and that grease on the telephone pole. He got some wonderful stories about that. Well, oh, Byron, have you got a little story maybe about your occupation you could share with you us? See those scars on his neck right there. That come from that... Uh, that oh, hash thing. marks, they look like almost. Yeah, they do look like hash marks, don't they? Hey, Byron, you know them scars on your neck look like hash marks? Anybody ever tell you that? No. Well, anyway, they do. He got those. He fell from a telephone pole. He's trying to get a cat off a telephone pole and just and all them little... You know, them little splinters that stick out from them tree spikes? He just ripped his neck all up there, and that's, that's part of his uh, makeup right there. Well, it sounds like a real interesting job you have, Byron. I guess a lot of uh, sort of funny things happen that maybe you could share with some of the listeners as long as you're down here. Well, no, no, it, you know, nothing happened. Uh, too, too much, nothing happened too much. Byron? You got me to bring you down here because you want to be on the radio. You want to meet Sherman Oaks. Now, there's people out there listening. There's friends of mine. There's friends of Sherman's. There's friends of G. Aylers. And we don't want to be embarrassed by somebody, some clown up here that can't talk. Now, you had a, you had 1,500 stories. You had written them out. You had uh, typed them up. You had them all filed away that you're going to tell Sherman now. This could be a big break for you now. Well, he's probably a little nervous being on the radio. Let's talk just a little. Maybe fit him at ease, and then he'll tell us one okay. of those stories. That's good. Byron, I noticed you got a, I should say, a, one of those leisure suits you're wearing. Yeah, you know, that's what I, uh, that's what Nadine bought me here. Well, that's a good looker, is that, uh, aqua, I guess you'd call that, aquamarine is that color, isn't it? Yeah. I tell you, he's acting like a mental case, I've got to get him out of here, he must be all froze up. Byron? Uh, well, you, well, you've got a little what is that, piece Byron? of paper there. It's a poem I wrote to, uh, Zeppa and Sherman Oak. Well, now we're cooking. Okay, All right. Well, we'd love to hear it. All right. Maybe, maybe you can talk to him a little. I think I'll make him a little nervous. Maybe so. Byron, just go right ahead. Your mic's on. You can turn right there and just read your poem any way you'd like to. And the people out there, I know they're going to like it. So you don't have a thing to worry about. Just go right ahead, buddy. Uh, it's it's on cat gut. It's the cat gut. Go well, ahead. Uh, see, uh, it's our, it's my, my wife's cat. Then I let's, not, let's not get into that. I don't well, want now, I know that's not true because I know you've got a lot of kitty cats at your house because I've seen those pictures Teddy Jack brings up. I got some, a fur ball on, on, in my throat right now and I got a hair I meant, I meant that Byron, letter hit. Listen, we're doing radio here. Would you read your poem so we don't... Well... Get in trouble from... No, it's a uh, poem to Ms. Eppon. 
Sherman Oaks and Jeter, that's our thing. And uh, it's just old poem I wrote out here. Well, go ahead. Read well, it. I don't think I'll read it. I mean, somebody will read because uh, it's, uh, I can't read something right in here, but I've, I'm trying. Well, I'll read it for well, you. I've tried. Well, then read it. Give us a try, Barn. All right. It's Before you start in that, Darn, uh, that's, uh, if I could comment on it, that's, that's uh, jewelry around your neck. Did you make that yourself? No, I bought that out there with my Claremore. Oh, I that's, tell you, he's pulling your leg. He pounded a bunch of tin cans up, and, and we wove that thing up. If you look close, you can see it's tin can, but it looks like natural uh, Navajo silvery. It's well, turquoise. Say, it, like it is. It's turquoise silverware. You like tried to hammer out those Avon bottles to make jewelry out of them. <laughs> no. Don't do that. No. <laughs> well, it's a little shatter, of course. No, I didn't. It's, uh, it's real turquoise ju- uh, silverware jewelry from uh, Armour. Okay, I didn't mean to interrupt you. <laughs> go go I, ahead. I'll tell you, I didn't know this was going to happen. I'm no, no, that's all right. Terribly that's... sorry. I, d- I mean, he's my uncle. Well, we're always glad to talk to him. He's up here. I had him up here at the doctor. He comes to the doctor once a month, and he got me to bring him over here, and I'm sorry about it. Oh, all. I'm sorry. It's a serious medical condition? Or? Well, he's, you know, I mean, I don't want to talk about it all the time. Oh, no, okay, fine. Well, can we hear the little uh, poem? And yeah. Go ahead. All right. This is about, uh, this is to, uh, dedicate to Sherman Oaks. And dear, that's our thing. You said that 14 <laughs> times, son. Why don't you just read the poem? All right. You gotta get him home. You want me to do that? Just... I got to get him. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead, uh, Byron. Byron. That's all right. I don't believe just, it. Just start off giggling. Once you start reading it, you'll calm down just a little bit. I, I got the giggles up here. Oh, oh, hey, you're going to be giggling outside of your face if you straighten up. No, no, it's all right, Jack. I know you're all cool. It's all right. He'll be a now you're laughing. No, it's, I'm just going to make him feel. It's no big deal. It's just radio. Let's hear the poem, Byron. All right. Byron, what are those, before you hear that, those little things on your hat look like a lot of, are those fishing plugs, uh, lazy eyes, what? Yeah. But there's some other stuff up there that I don't recognize having anything to do with fishing. Oh. Uh, it no, looks it's, like uh, garter straps or something. No, it's a uh, political button I put on there from things I collect around there. In the house, I find stuff out in the yard and everything and put them on there. Well, those, those, <laughs> bi- Byron, those bag worms, those are bag worms only, Mr. Sherman. Sorry. Byron, if you don't straighten up and quit giggling and horsing around in here, there's money being spent in this room right now. Now, you could, you have a big chance here. You have a chance that a lot of people don't have. Now, read your point. I've just never heard bag worms called political buttons before. <laughs> No, you were actually wearing them on the hat. They're not just crawling there. You were wearing them. They're wearing little harnesses or something, aren't they? Yeah, I trained uh, them. Um, my uh, nephew used to come up to the house and, and then had nothing to do, so he took him out and, and squeezed bag worms out and just come. <laughs> you know, I had Roy Baker up here the other day with them crickets. Well, this is his brother. Is That's that the whole story. They yeah. both had that snake training farm. They're, they're half brothers, aren't they? Yeah, they're half brothers. Yeah. You know, I noticed that right, Byron doesn't have any eyebrows. I guess his <laughs> bag worms. I don't know whether he wears them or has the weed. It's a little off. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know about it. I just hope that the doctor can get it all straightened let's out see if, for Let's see if you can get him to read the point, and then okay. we'll go ahead with the show. Okay, good. Byron, we're ready to hear your uh, words of soliloquy and eloquence there, if you don't mind. Reading them to your buddy. No way. It's poem to Sherman Oaks and G or this our team. I wrote up and Zip and I wrote it about oh no about the You said you wrote it. Yeah, I did. I wrote well, what do you mean Mazep and I wrote it? <laughs> I said no, no. I got no, I two said Zip, I think I said, said two. Uh-huh. Oh I did you said I did. You can uh, you can hear it back later. Uh, why, uh, Nadine's recording this. It's all it's all me recorded and 
I'm gonna be on radio. It's gonna be kind of a long recording if we don't get to that point. <laughs> All right. Play, All right. It's like I said, dude. Dude, that's not me. I gotta tell you what. I got the giggle. Straighten up. Now straighten up and read no, your point. No, I can read it right away. Right, it's called Midnight Fun. There ain't nothing like getting up out. Byron, listen. No, I think he's starting to read it. Well, I, I want to get something straight. He always, he's always carrying it. Byron, I want you to take those little rubber balls out of your mouth. Those two little rubber balls you carry in your mouth. <laughs> All right, now you can read. I think people understand you a little better. This is entitled Midnight Madness. I love radio. And I get up, um, the first thing I do is turn on the radio. And then I walk around the room listening to my radio. I go into the icebox, get something to eat, walk outside and into the street. I get in my car and turn on the radio. I drive to work on sunny days. I drive to work because it pays. And I listen to the radio. I like Sherman. I like Mazeppa. I like G. Aynard. And I like... <laughs> looks like... Trying to find a word to rhyme there, but Well, I have a word. It says the tepa. But I don't know what it is. I think that says fella. Oh! No, it doesn't rhyme with Mazeppa. I couldn't think of anything. Fella rhymes with Mazeppa. <laughs> so it does hey, not. I, that sounds strange. Why don't you stick him things back in your mouth for a minute? There you go, buddy. All right. Then go to the store. First thing I do is get some beech nut and begin to chew. Same thing I do, <coughs> get in my car, drive down the road. I don't have to go far to listen to my radio. Saturday night's my favorite time, because that's when you don't have to spend the dime to listen to the radio. It don't cost nothing. It's a lot of fun. It's the Uncan Femican Festival on K K Un. <laughs> Come on, Byron. Sherman, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Let's go, buddy. We're going home. That was uh, Teddy Jack Eddie oh. and his uncle Byron Beavis. Get out of here. Let's go, Byron. Uncle Byron is the Kansas State Poet Laureate. Uh, Teddy Jack Eddie is working over some loose ends. He's trying to make some rhymes there to sharpen up the poetry. As I say, uh, Byron is the Kansas State Poet. As I understand it, if you're in the vicinity of Kansas, why not stop in? Remember, Kansas is open from April 15th until September 30th, seven days a week. Open Sundays from 1 to 5.30. some of those phone calls.
on those phone calls as we get out and get under the moon. Find out what our lovely listeners are thinking of this evening. We have to uh, take a little time to do that, though. Oh. Okay. If you'd like to talk to Teddy Jack, Eddie Sherman Oaks, or Gene Sartain, well, let's call right in. <laughs> call right in, and we'll be glad to speak to you. Let's see here. Unplug this. Pocket call. The yellow. I want to talk to uh, Teddy Jack. You want to talk to Teddy Jack? Yeah. All right, just a second. Oh! Oh. Hello. Teddy Jack? Yo. I saw you today on the Kung Fu, man. That was real cool, get kicked around like that. Yeah, I remember doing that. That's hideous. I mean, he really kicked me. He put a, he put a thing, he caved in my solar plexus. Did it hurt? 
Yeah. Well, what do you? What did? How did you get into all that movie business? I just went out there and I walked up to a man and slap a hair out of his nose and said I want to be in the movie business. Well, he sent me home and I got a thing in the mail saying they'd like to see me back there. And I came back and they gave me a citation, tried to sue me for assault and battery, and then I got into another deal and helped this one old boy out and got into business. Hello. Hello. How you doing? You're on the air here, buddy. Speak. Is that me? Yeah, that's you. Change it. Hello. Howdy. Oh, uh... Who do you want to talk to? Sherman Oaks? Yeah. Here you go. Hello. Sherman? Hello. Uh... Speak up. State your name and business. What is your name? Bob. Oh, Bob. Shame, shame. Everyone knows your name. <laughs> Johnny KC. Howdy. What's up? I said howdy. How you doing? Oh, pretty good. Him, I'm pretty good. You're thing. speaking to G.L. or S.R. Tate. Oh, really? Yes. G.L. or S.R. Tate? That's right. Uh, Phil, uh, what y'all doing up there tonight? Well, we're doing a radio show. No time to talk right now. KKC. Uh, I'd like to talk to President Nixon. Okay, I'll give you the number. 
KKC. I'm Joey Can Festival. May I help you? Yeah, my name is Josh Markle. I'd like to will my...